Welcome to Ferrotype Studios. I'm going to change the saddles on my Fender Strat because they're all wonky. Enjoy the video. Welcome to Ferrotype Studios. I'm going to show you how to change the saddles on a guitar. Um, the reason I'm changing them on this guitar is when I got it, this is this is an old uh, Japanese uh, Fender Strat and it looks like a couple of the saddles may have fallen off at some point and been replaced but by wider ones so they're sort of uh, splayed out at a bit of a strange angle. I'm going to change those. One important thing to do is know the width of the saddles that you require before buying anything. So I have bought a Telecaster bridge because it looks the same width, I've measured it up and I'm going to take all these little fix all these saddles off and put them on the existing uh, bridge and the reason I've done bought a Telecaster uh, bridge with the pickup surround is once I take the saddles off I'm going to use this as a template for cutting some humbuckers in a guitar I'm making sounds like a good idea so yeah tools you need screwdriver with a Phillips 1 or Phillips 2 part Phillips let's go Phillips 1 and a tiny little allen key. And if you buy a new, if you buy a bridge like this, it comes with the allen key. I think it's one and a half mil or two, uh, maybe two mil. I don't know. I think they're all slightly different. But if you buy a bridge, generally it comes with the right size allen key that you need to adjust the height of the strings. First thing to do is remove the strings. Next up is to use a screwdriver with a Phillips one head and uh, remove the screws from the saddles so they come loose. I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, Telecaster bridge, remove all the new saddles ready to put them on uh, the old bridge. Just, uh, just a note, while the um, saddles are off and the strings are off, it's a good time to clean your guitar properly because you don't often get to remove all the rust and dirt that accumulates there. To fit the new saddles into the bridge, this is just uh, as an example, you put the screw in first, then you put the spring on, then you put the saddle on, and probably give it a few turns just to hold it in place because you'll need to adjust the intonation to make sure it's in tune. Next start, whack a new set of strings on and then we'll move on to the intonation. Next up is a bit of a setup. I'd imagine the uh, neck angle is probably fine because we haven't changed the neck so, and we could, I've put the same strings on. I imagine it's the same for your guitar. But for the saddles, they normally come with an Allen key, if not, get a, a one and a half mil and a two mil Allen key, I can't remember what size it is, and raise the saddles to the required height, just so you've got a nice action. Sort of, I don't know, two, three mil. I like to have the neck angled a tiny bit, just so it buzzes less. And then is the intonation. The intonation is, so you're in tune when the string's open, you want to be bang on the same uh, note at fret 12. And what you do is you move the saddle forwards or backwards to adjust that tuning. And if you turn it clockwise, so tighten it, which pulls the saddle backwards, that makes it sharper. And if you loosen it, so turn it anti-clockwise, and the saddle moves towards the neck, it makes it slightly flatter. So I'm just gonna, well, adjust the saddles and make sure it's in tune for all the strings. And once it's in tune, uh, obviously open and at fret 12, you know the intonation's right and uh, 
I'd just suggest going up the neck, making sure nothing buzzes, making sure the string heights are correct. Just as a bit of a guide with the saddles, the top three so sort of go uh, from the thick string to the thinner string, slightly back, and then the G string steps out a little bit and steps back again. Generally, that's how you, um, same as Gibson bridges should be set up. So that just a little note, a little bit of a guide so you can tell if you're going the right way or not. Yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you'd do. Um, thanks for watching.